All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it's a one versus one on Turtle Rock between our blue orc player, Grubby. Down on the bottom, we have our red orc player, Death Knight. And kind of unusual that I cast uh, an orc versus orc game. Doesn't really happen that often. And again, this is a continuation of my Super Grubby replay pack. I think I only have, including this one, three more to cast for you guys. I think I had a total of seven. I think it was. Uh, I said earlier it was eight, but uh, eh, I think it was seven. I'm not sure. I have a lot of them. But uh, either way, I'm almost complete with them, so you guys will have a uh, big old content pack here soon. And I'm casting them all in one day because I have uh, the whole weekend to myself. And Wild Wacky Scout Peon coming on in. And going to be a Blade Master versus Blade Master, which uh, honestly. Not particularly surprising. And we'll have to see what these Blaine Masters decide to do. Grubby, of course, going to go after the Ogre Warrior camp as is usual for him. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know, you just take a Blade Master and you go after uh, the Ogre Warrior that has the item. And then you usually just abandon the camp uh, till later on. And so you get your item, and then you run off, but uh, not this time for Grubby. going to continue on, and gets a Ring of Selling, unfortunately. And Death Knight will pick up a Circle of Nobility and a Dust of Appearance at the Merchant Camp here, and gets Boots of Speed for free. Always a good time. And gets that Watcher Ward as well. Work complete. And now the camp has been completed. A little bit more experience for Grubby, surprisingly. As, oh no, yeah, the camp has not been finished off there. I was wondering for a second there. And now all the salves have been picked up on these units. Grubby will purchase Circle of Nobility and Dust of Appearance for himself. And now go after the other Ogre Warrior camp in hopes of getting We're Claws of Attack. Claws of Attack plus six drop from these camps. And then from the Ogre Magi, you can actually get a Claws of Attack plus nine. So we'll see what items here drop for these two characters. Gloves of Haste for Death Knight, and will be Gloves of Haste for Grubby as well. So a fairly even match so far. Grubby kind of got ripped off a little bit with the Ring of Selling because it's a blatantly terrible item. Um, kind of good, admittedly kind of good on Torn Chieftain, Goblin Alchemist, uh, Mountain King, that sort of thing. Any hero with really low armor uh, for the start. Um, it does help quite a bit and raise, essentially raise your, your HP. You can pretty much just convert the damage reduction to HP. At least in terms of uh, melee damage. Or physical damage overall. Ogre Warrior Camp goes down, Circle of Nobility for Death Knight. And we'll pick that up, I'm assuming, after the creeps have been finished so he can salve up and use those salves. And gonna use a grunt here to take a little bit of that damage. And that'll finish off the Ogre Magi there. And gets a Parry of Vitality, which he will probably sell. I've seen him sell them before. Doesn't really need it. 175 gold for Grubby. And another healing salve. A quick one from downtown. Carl Malone, the mailman, delivering packages from downtown. And so far, I'm on uh, my fifth replay out of seven for today. And they're all actually kind of short. Uh, these are actually the final replays of uh, the Grubby replays that I had saved. And uh, I kind of waited to cast these last because were, these were mostly uh, really short replays. And so, unfortunately, they're going to be rather short. Um, and you'll probably already know that because this one won't go up till a little bit later. And Warlord Camp goes down, gets a Belt of Giant Strength plus six. Not particularly helpful for the Blade Master there. And struggling to repair this bro. And Grubby needs to make it back to the base. Sold his Scroll of Town portal as is usual for Blade Masters. Better off to get the Circle of Nobility, and uh, depending on what race you are fighting, Dust of Appearance or Boots of Speed sometimes. 
if one can afford it. Dust of Appearance goes off. And now Grubby's Blade Master spotted. And there goes a potion on Grubby, keeping him in the game. Grubby's uh, Blade Master level three. And definitely will go down there. Finished off the Fire Lord. And it's kind of weird because I said Death Knight will go down. And doesn't have a Death Knight, but his name is Death Knight. And another grunt finished off by Grubby. So Grubby doing pretty well in terms of the experience. From level three and a half to essentially level two and a half. So a whole uh, level difference on Grubby compared to his ally here. And the Shadow Hunter shouldn't have much of a problem keeping this group of grunts alive here. Uh, Chain heal will hit them all and uh, keep them going like a Flintstones kid. 10 million strong and growing. And a raider out in the middle of nowhere. Fire Lord revived pretty much instantly. As he's only level 1 with no experience whatsoever. And Blade Masters will pass each other by in their weird nether, brogue, stealth, state, whatever it is. And I'll grab you back at the base. Healing Sav up on him. Gonna pick up a Clarity Potion too, as he's pretty, pretty low. And we'll use that Clarity Potion once this stealth wears off. And so he does. And now what is on the agenda? Fire Lord and Blade Master. Interesting strategy from Death Knight. Although, something that I definitely never mind seeing. A bunch of peons on the way, so do I smell a tower rush? I don't see a war mail, though. So I don't smell a tower rush. B5 folks from uh, uh, smell a tower rush. I, I almost didn't get that out. And so simple, B5 folks from. <laughs> oh my. That's what that's what happens when you when you're on your fifth cast in a row for the day. Uh, however, these are mostly short, so I think overall my casting time for today will only be maybe like I think a little over an hour, which is not a big deal as I used to cast a lot of Company Heroes too, and some of those games. Uh, I think the longest game I ever casted of Company Heroes 2 was an hour and 14 minutes, and that is absolutely terrible. Like it's so it sucks so bad to cast for that long for like one straight game. And I've casted longer than that in a tournament. I casted the Fox uh, Operation Foxtrot tournament. Um, so I, I basically casted pretty much all day. Like it was like four or five hours straight, um, which isn't too big of a deal because you get breaks in between uh, the games. But uh, when it's an hour and ten minute long game straight, it uh, starts to hurt your voice a little bit, to be uh, quite frank. And there on a grunt will likely lose this grunt here. And still at level 3, though. That creeping went a long way for Grubby. And Grubby gets in the middle of all things and could be a little bit dangerous there, but it's going to take out a raider and will tell, uh, Town Portal out. And doesn't save the grunt in time, unfortunately. So that gives level 3 to Death Knight. And Death Knight's army looking quite a bit better at the moment. And ensnare for an ensnare there. Trading off on the Blade Masters. Grubby getting hit with multiple though, keeping him in place for a while. And Voodoo Lounge will go down. That's going to open up Grubby's base quite a bit. And now Death Knight will be able to just pour in. However, the two Orc Burrows here are just pounding away at these Raiders. And Grubby trying to get his Blade Master ready here, surrounded by a Peon of all things, blocking the Blade Master. And now Grubby's Blade Master down at a very inconvenient time. However, these Orc Burrows doing a ton of damage and really hammering away at these units. And now Aemon is a Grunt there, takes out the Grunt. Could take out this Raider here in one shot, but he's gonna leave that up to the Shadow Hunter apparently. And Shadowhunter's gonna go down now as well. 
And now both heroes gone for Grubby, but Death Knight's army definitely quite a bit damaged, but gonna lose the Burrow now. And with only one Burrow left for defense, Grubby is going to call GG, leaving Death Knight the winner. And a pretty good game overall. No real big mistakes made uh, overall in the game that I saw, but just uh, pretty well played by Death Knight. Also well played by Grubby. But I hope you guys enjoyed this replay, and I will see you guys next time.